In today's video, we're going to look at the Sherwin-Williams color Rose Tan SW0069. We got the color code, time to crack it. So what's the deal with Rose Tan? Is it Rose? Is it Tan? Is it both? I think it's actually neither, but that doesn't make it any less awesome as a paint color. The name of the game on color code is to take a paint color, break it down a bit, and then give you some color pairing options so you can start piecing together your own personal color palettes based on rose tan. In fact, these are the colors we're going to talk about today, which include a light, a medium, and a dark color pairing, as well as an off-white trim color that goes alongside rose tan. So let's start with the main course. We have Rose Tan by Sherwin-Williams. And to me, this is actually more of a peachy terracotta that combines a touch of coral or orange and then fuses it with a dash of brown and a dollop of red clay. It has a light reflectance value or an LRV of 38, and that puts it on the darker side of mid-tone colors. It's not going to make the room you use it in feel like I don't know, a dark abyss, but it's also not going to be something that would classify as light or airy. Probably not a first choice for a hallway color for a lot of people, but an easy second choice for most other rooms in your home. I'm just kidding. It's definitely first choice material because to me, it is kind of like, I don't know, an updated reinterpretation of those slightly fiery orange heavy terracottas that I used to use quite extensively back in the old day. Rose tan takes a little step towards rose gold, which gives it a little more sophistication overall. And it's a color that was featured in the Dreamland palette as part of the Sherwin-Williams 2022 color mix forecast. We also did a video on the Dreamland palette itself, which I can leave in the cards up top if you're interested later on. Some nice easy paint people viewing on a Monday or whenever you're watching this. You could interpret Rose Tan as a more fun, colorful alternative to its neutral brother, Regular Tan. I don't know if there's an actual color called Regular Tan, but if there was, it would probably look like this, which is fine, but you know, not quite as rosy, you know? I sort of see Rose Tan as a supporting cast member to the tons of greens that have been flooding interior design this year so far. Because if you think about it, green's complementary color is actually red, you know, the Christmas colors. And that red is present as an undertone in Rose Tan. So by incorporating the two together, you can have a pretty fun back and forth, you know, with the evergreen fogs of the world, for example. But the pairings that I chose don't actually have any green, so you can throw that out the window. Basically, I'll give you other options that aren't completely complementary, but are still really good fits with Rose Tan. Let's start with the light color pairing, which is definitely the most straightforward safe choice, and it's called White Heron. It has an LRV of 76, making it a lot lighter than Rose Tan in general. Because the main color already has a ton of visual saturation, both in its vibrancy and its overall depth, White Heron presents itself as a light and airy backdrop color that really just seems to blend into the background. It also brings forth a healthy amount of warmth on its own, and at the same time just has that touch of peachy warmth to help cling on to rose tan a bit easier. Traditionally, you would more likely see the lighter color used more prominently in a color palette, but if you enjoy that whole rose gold aesthetic, then I would challenge you to have white heron as the sort of secondary color between these two. As for the second or mid-tone color pairing option, we have something quite a bit different Indeed. If anything was going to be deemed an accent color in this palette, it would be this. Secret Cove is a 25 LRV shaded blue, and it also has a touch of green giving it that aquatic flair. And just a little quinky dink that I noticed, Secret Cove was featured in the color collection called Dreamer, which sounds awfully close to the Dreamland palette I spoke about earlier. Hmm. Fun fact. So because what we have here is very much a complementary color, I would easily isolate it as the accent color in this palette. It's not directly opposite to rose tan on the color wheel, but it's pretty close. So if you're using a lot of one, just use a bit of the other for those little pops of intriguing contrast. For the dark color pairing, I wanted to go back to neutral territory in terms of undertone specifically, but still have something dark. So I reached for one of my tried and true favorites, 
peppercorn. And that's because it's straightforward charcoal gray through and through. Its LRV is 10, which is darker than any other color in this video, but not nearly as dark as some of those deadpan black paints out there. And even though it is extremely dark, it's pretty much as neutral as you can get in this category. And that's mainly due to the amount of saturation we already saw in Rose 10 itself, and especially Secret Cove. I mean, we all love a bit of color, but we don't want too many competing hues, which can just discombobulate the whole design. The off-white paint color here, easy choice, totally easy. It's alabaster, it's a staple. It has an 82 light reflectance value, so not quite the brightest white out there by any means, but light enough to coexist with the other paint colors we spoke about. Let me know if you want a color code episode on any of the other colors we spoke about today, or any other Sherwin-Williams color at all, for that matter. Just don't forget to write it down below.